you know, RG Barger crew, hope you're having a fantastic day today and your family's happy and healthy. Okay, in this video, we're going to take another look at Alaskan Road Truckers, give it another chance, prove that it's uh, worthy of the money that I spent on it. Uh, I don't know if you've seen any of my previous videos on Alaskan Road Truckers, but uh, I started doing uh, some videos. I was planning on doing a series of videos on it because I was hoping it would be... Uh, that good a game that I could uh, do that but unfortunately as I progressed further and further into it the game just got worse and worse it was buggy as hell the graphics were crap um, the controls were clunky and the list goes on I mean all you've got to do is go and have a look at on their uh, discussion forum on uh, Steam and you'll see all the complaints that were there I have been told that it is a lot better I've done a quick job prior to doing this video just to see what it was like I was getting a lot of visual tearing so I switched off V-Sync believe it or not in the actual game and enabled enhanced sync in uh, my uh, Radian software <coughs> excuse me and it seems to be a lot better uh, there's still a little bit of tearing or whatnot but anyway enough said let's uh, take a job I'm here at uh, Powerline Manufacturers I think it's called and uh, see if they've got a job for me and um, we'll get on with it ah, see visual tearing already okay so we haven't got rid of the tearing I'm yeah look at that it's tearing really bad okay bear with me guys I'm just going to try something I'm just uh, adjusting changing from enhanced sync to just um, vertical sync Let's see if that uh, helps. I may have to restart the game. That might be what the problem is for it to take effect. Yeah, it's still tearing. All right, I'll come back after I've started the, restarted the game. Okay, so here we are back in the game. What I had to do to get rid of the tearing, there's just a slight bit now, which is good. Uh, as you can see at the top of the screen, there's a little bit of tearing, but apart from that, it's pretty good. What I had to do is uh, enable uh, it's called Radiant Enhanced Sync. Yeah, it's still tearing at the top. And also switch V-Sync back on in the game. And that's the best uh, combination I've found so far. Like I say, still getting a little bit of tearing at the top of the screen, but I mean, huh, you can put up with that. All right, so like I say, let's uh, get a job. We'll just take a quick run here, the dump trailer. And we're parked outside. Thanks. Oh, no, the tearing's still there. All right. So I can't get rid of the tearing no matter what I do. So that's one bad point with it. Now, where's the trailer? Up the end there. And break off. <clears throat> Excuse me. A really dry throat for some reason today. Should have my cup of coffee and I should be right then. Got to make one. Alright, so the graphics, I must say, apart from that tearing, uh, seem to be a lot better. Seem to be, so far. And like I say, I did a quick job prior to making this video just to make sure that I wasn't wasting my time. How far away are we? Oh, too far in. Okay. Oh. Why is it not turning green? There we go. All right. Yeah, definitely visual tearing going on. But apart from that, like I say, the graphics seem a lot clearer. If they can just get rid of that visual tearing, 
we should be right. I went. Okay. That's weird. Why is this showing? Huh, okay. For some reason, <laughs> nothing was showing up. Like I say, there's some real weird glitches and idiosyncrasies with this game that really give me the, well, peeves me. Because I was really looking forward to this game being fantastic. But like I say, I'm going to give it a chance. Stop it. That's the other thing that <laughs> really gets me. I know I'm being real picky, but the up arrow and the way you turn the handle are <laughs> the wrong way. Just little things like that. But as you can see, the graphics are quite clear. They used to be really blurry. At least now they're, they're a little bit better as far as clarity goes. So we'll give them a, an A for that one. Although the dash, if you look at the dashboard, it's still blurry for some reason. But anyway, let's get on our way for this job. Handbrake off. You still have the uh, all the controls at your fingertip. Radio, wipers, ignition, handbrake, CB radio, and then you can jump in the back, get into the cabin. Let's dive in there and let you have a look. Oops, wrong button. I've got all the... Like I say, I haven't played it for a while, so... My, uh... My button... Oh, my memories is a little bit off. Okay, into the cabin. Sorry. Handbrake's on. Into the cabin. So in the cabin, you can... Put stuff in your containers. Uh, you can cook food in your microwave. You can sleep, etc. Go back into the cockpit. And the other thing that they still haven't fixed is the navigation. Uh, it's still... What would you say? It's still um, poor. And I'm being polite. Why are we taking an empty dumper? Okay. Oh well. And off we go. The force feedback. Whoops. Too busy trying to remember the buttons yeah the force feedback on the steering wheel is still average as best at best and um, I've got all the features turned on as far as the uh, force feedback goes in the steering wheel I still don't know why you've got first, second, third and fourth gear in this truck or any of the trucks for that matter because you don't need them. You, you can pull away from fifth gear with any size load on the truck. So that's another thing they have to fix. But again, I'm being really negative and I shouldn't be. But like I say, the navigation is really poor. Um, I found that with jobs, you follow your navigation, you end up sometimes in the completely wrong uh, depot. And I'm not talking just next door or something like that. Sometimes you can be like 20 miles away from it because the navigation is taking you to the wrong place. Um, the AI traffic has definitely improved. That's an A plus for that one. The, um, the AI traffic no longer just stops dead in front of you for no reason uh, and doesn't just travel at 25 miles per hour wherever they go. They actually stick to the speed limit. So if you're in a 55 mile an hour speed zone, 
they're normally around 50 to 55 miles per hour um, they still do slow down slightly at uh, intersections but that's because there's a speed limit reduction at most intersections so they're just following the uh, speed limit so that's not a problem they don't just run into you willy-nilly like they did before where you'd be driving along and all of a sudden one would just drive into the side of you or cross the road and come onto your side of the road drive straight in front of you they don't do that anymore so that's good that's another plus so all in all it's starting to improve it's taken its time but it's starting to improve but we're yet to see we'll, like I say we'll, we'll finish this job uh, and then you can judge for yourself what you think about it top outside and have a look around the one thing I do like uh, that they've added or not added but it's been there from the beginning see how I'm, I'm revving the engine and you're getting smoke from the exhaust that adds to the immersion I think that just adds a, a nice plus a nice feature in the game that uh, they brought into the game but like I say if they could get the gearbox sorted so that uh, you can actually feel that you need to use your low gears when there's a heavy load on uh, that'd be good uh, also if they can add jake brakes to it because there's no jake brake well not that I know of they may, they may have implemented that I'll have to check later um, and if they can improve the trees and, and the grass a little bit as far as graphically goes because they all look identical basically or they look like groups of the same trees all over the place and scenery gets a little bit boring after a while notice a little bit of a lag spike there um, so the frames per second I haven't checked it but I'm getting around about between 50 to 60 in most circumstances uh, 50 to 60 frames per second that's all you need for this game uh, but sometimes it will drop down very low and you get that lag spike whereas before it used to be really bad uh, and you were getting them every five to ten seconds and it would drop down to like five or six frames per second making it nearly impossible to, to play the game now you're only getting them every now and again and it's just a split second so they've definitely improved the uh, performance of the game or the optimization I should say so that's a plus uh, but as far as immersion goes there's not much more that they've added to it when I first saw this game being advertised and the trailers and whatnot it looked like you would be really involved in keeping your truck running which you do that you've got to uh, repair things and whatnot but um, also it looked like you would be doing some camping out and lighting fires and stuff like that I haven't come across that yet uh, and I've been playing the game for a while well not recently but I did for a while and I never came across where you'd be camping out and uh, well you'd have to build campfires and keep yourself alive by keeping warm and stuff like that you do still have to do that to a degree uh, when it starts getting really cold you have to make sure that you're rugged up with a jacket and your jackets wear out and you've got to make sure if you look down at the bottom left of the screen you'll see you've got your hunger and your um, energy levels and your health levels there you still got to feed yourself and uh, sleep and keep yourself warm so that's that's a good part of it but I think that they could add more to it because like I say when you looked at the the trailers it really looked like you'd have to get right into it to keep yourself alive um, and that it'd be more immersed that way you have to go to service stations fill up and you can buy food there and supplies you've got chainsaws that you can buy so if you, you come across a, a road that there's a tree falling across the road you can actually there was a lag spike again but it's few and far between so again like I say I'm giving them a thumbs up for that because it has improved as far as the uh, performance goes but as I was saying yeah you can buy chainsaws to cut the trees 
away from uh, the road so that you can so you can go past the tree or you can call them out using your CB radio um, so yeah I mean it, it is improving I'm, I'm going to stick with it now because it does look like they're actually pulling the digit out of the proverbial rear end and actually doing something and listening to, uh, to their customers so if they keep doing that I can see the game really developing into something special let's hope they do guys let's keep the fingers crossed because I really did have high hopes for this game see 25 now you're in 55 and that's when the uh, the AI traffic slows down I was just pointing that out um, but like I say the trucks the physics on the trucks are reasonably good when you're turning you can feel the weight shift in the truck uh, but you still got that visual tearing when you do turn rapidly but again I can put up with that as long as most of the graphics are reasonably clear and you can make out what you're doing before it was so blurry it was giving me eye strain um, where was I? yeah so if they keep improving it the way they are doing now and it, it develop, they develop it into the game that they told us it would be then thumbs up to them great because that's that's what they should have done from the boy go they released the game as a full game it wasn't it was beta at best uh, early access or beta it, it really was in that poorer condition but now it's 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 definitely improved to the point where I don't mind playing it before I, I hated playing it because it was just so buggy um, it would crash and you know you name it there'd be so many different problems trucks would just fly off the road jump up in the air uh, cars that were coming the other way would disappear into the road and you'd run into them um, and the list just goes on and on but like I say they need to fix the gearboxes fix the dashboards the clusters uh, so you can actually see what's there um, that's about it so far uh, like I say make it a little bit more immersive as far as the survival part of it goes where you, you know, like I say you were camping out and that's what they, they made it out to be when they uh, showed the trailers but I mean you, know, you have a look at that that to me is poor graphics there I mean I know they're trying to show that there's crops that are dying I suppose but it looks like they just used it to fill in you know scenery instead of it putting something different but hopefully they'll get it right like I say I, I couldn't do this before with the game where I'm driving along and semi enjoying it because uh, it would just give so many problems you'd be ending up your trailer end up with um, like 20% damage for no reason at all it just would end up damaged and you couldn't work out why now as you can see we're still on 100% because I haven't run into anything but if it, this was the game prior to all the updates that we've got now that trailer would by now would have been only at 80% probably In a state that it's in, I wouldn't recommend it, but I wouldn't say that it's not something you should look at. Uh, I would say if you've got to spare whatever it's worth at the moment, I haven't looked what price it is at the moment, let's say it's 25 bucks or whatever, go spare 25 bucks and you're into truck simulators. So now, oh uh, yeah, okay, no, that's, that was my mistake. I thought it was show, showing to turn left, but it should have gone straight ahead. But no, I was wrong. That was my fault. 
But as you can see, you've got various roads, dirt roads, tarred roads, tarmac roads, whatever you want to call it, bitumized, uh, gravel roads, works, uh, road works, trees falling. So you've got all those elements that make it more immersive. Great, great job. You've got different uh, levels of trucks that you can purchase. But believe it or not, I prefer the very first truck that you get because it actually feels better. It uh, reaches a top speed of 55 miles per hour, whereas the other trucks don't. Well, I don't know because I had to start a new game. So maybe since the update, they've fixed the other trucks that you progress through. Hopefully they have. I don't know if you can see how this steering wheel is vibrating like crazy. I mean, that's their idea of, um, what am I getting bit bit for? Causing an accident. Hang on. Now, how did I cause an accident? The car's not even, unless he reversed back, he ran into me. So that's, that's telling me there's an obstacle in the road. Hopefully there will be, and we'll see if we can get past it. Okay, so there's one of the glitches that uh, are still in the game. That truck, the pickup truck behind me obviously ran into the back of my truck and I got blamed for it and got uh, fined for it. That's not my fault if he uh, didn't break, but I mean, you even get that in other truck simulators where uh, a, an AI traffic will cause a problem, but you get charged for it. So that's, again, not a, not a, um, a uh, yeah, not a concern. And now I've got to try and get past this guy without running into it. And I didn't. <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to get out then. I pressed the wrong button. I think I probably thought I was getting out to bash him. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can get past this guy. Now I'm hitting the fence. Well, if you back up, mate, I can get past you. So that's the other problem the angles of uh, view no, I'm going to collect him yep and see that the collision boxes on these are incorrect I shouldn't be hitting him But that's just ridiculous. Nah, just being cheap. Now this is why I end up giving up on the game. Because of things like this. I mean I'm nowhere near that pick up now. Yeah, that was just ridiculous. Oh. That's, that's the other thing too. I know I'm picking on this game. I really don't want to. I want this game to be good. We've got so much, so many high hopes for this game. But if you look at the windscreen right now, it's raining. And um, the windscreen doesn't have any water on it. There's no raindrops appearing. You know, it's just little things like that. When you, you know, they tell you it's a, a fully full release game, and you end up. Oh, don't. Oh, no, that was a bad glitch. I thought it was going to crash. 
Yeah, when they end up telling you that uh, it's a full-fledged game and you end up with something that is missing graphics, etc., etc., I think this is where you've got to park. Now, let's see if the GPS has brought us to the right place. I do like how they bring up the precision parking so you know when you're in your parking area okay well that wasn't too bad we, we had a few bad things but again raining no rain showing up on the windscreen it's just little things like that which are easy fixes but again yeah I'm sorry but I really want this game to be good like I say they have improved the graphics but now you've got the visual tearing. Where's the office? That's the other thing that... Ah, there he is. You've got to hunt down this glowing man when you pull up to find where you've got to go to claim your uh, money. And he's just standing out in the middle of the rain. Oh, well. <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, that's my fault. I forgot to unhitch the trailer. <laughs> That's how long since I've played the game. Okay. So yes, when you've uh, finished, you've got to pull up and unhitch the trailer. Oh. Just didn't want to light up, man. Now see, that's showing the right way. When you're putting the stand down. And there's a certain order you got to do it in. So we'll make sure we do that. I like this part. A lot of people are complaining about it, but the, the whole idea of this game was for it to be different than other truck games, or truck simulators, where you actually had to hook your trailer up and unhook it uh, before you, you, know, you could take off or drop off. Right, so now the trailer's unlocked and been unhitched we can now go claim our money so yeah as you can see it's still got some problems there's still some reports of things that uh, go bump in the night but I mean it has improved so I'm giving it that so I'm not going to give up on it now I was going to give up on it and say bugger it I'm not going to play it again but now because it's uh, not too bad at least the graphics are playable and it's not crashing every five seconds and it's not glitching every five seconds i'm going to give it a thumbs up as far as what they've done to it to improve it but it should have been at this stage from the beginning when they released it end of story there's no excuse for that in fact i i was going to try and get a refund but i'd played too long and that really peeved me off but now that I've uh, seen how they've improved it, I will give it a chance. So anyway, guys, that's uh, the state of uh, Alaskan Road Truckers. It can only improve for me, and hopefully it will. And I will keep you informed as uh, to what is happening with it, so that if you haven't bought it already, you don't waste your money yet if you don't want to put up with all the little niggly glitches that it's got. And I will say to you that I think, from judging from how much it's improved so far, that they will fix these problems. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully uh, that helped you with the decision whether or not to purchase this game. And if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do that also. It's free. You might as well. If you know anybody that might be interested in this video, please share it with them as well. And... Uh, Hopefully, if you did like it, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.